Last week here on Thunder, the Scooby-Doo team took home all the hardware, defeating Brodozer in the finals. Can they hold on? Find out next. Standing room only here at the brand new MTA Arena. All the drivers were trying to dial in their trucks last week on this brand new track. Scooby-Doo dialed it in the best, took home all the hardware, and is your current checkered flag holder. Brodozer's been in the finals the last two weeks in a row. Is tonight finally going to be his night? The other 14 trucks, they're here. They're tired up. They're dialed in. These bad boys are getting ready to turn it loose for Thursday Night Thunder. The track is fast and it's going to come down to who can lay down the horsepower in the dirt first to take the win. Looking at round one matchups, up first we got Bad News taking on Megalodon, followed by Wolverine taking on Whiplash. Up first here in round number one, out of Elkton, Virginia, behind the Chevrolet pickup, that's David Snyder, a one-time Thunder champion, former driver of the Rampage Dodge. He draws up against Richard Nelson II out of the Diggers Diecast race team in Megalodon. Both trucks are staged. Who's going to round number two to kick off week three of the June season? There's the green light, they're down the straight. Up and over no man's land and the Chevrolet and Bad News will take the win. He puts Megalodon on the trailer early. Bad News moves on to round number two. Up next in round one, we've got Megan Jagger, a three-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. The 1941 Willie's always looking good. The whiplash machine ready to go. There's Lewis Thompson the fourth and the Wolverine Chevrolet at a big lake, Minnesota. Who moves on to round number two? Whiplash, Wolverine, stage now as we go green. Down the straight now, Whiplash jumps him off the line, Wolverine coming back, and Whiplash shuts him down in the end. Whiplash moves on to round number two, taking a better look at it here. What a close race, Whiplash, however, moves on. Next up in round one, Dawson Reyes and the 1957 Corvette, better known as Vet King, he takes on Jeffrey Skipper and that bad, fast bulldozer machine. He's had a rivalry out with the Brodozer, you think they'll meet up again here tonight? We're going to find out next. There's the green light now. Both of them heading down the straight. Bulldozer now. Oh, my! Gets out of shape on the first jump. I think Bulldozer may have gotten the win. I may be wrong. Going down to the MTA replay, Bulldozer gets way out of shape right here into no man's land. A hard hit on the right rear. Tried to come back, and Vet King does take the win. And huge problems for the Bulldozer team. We will definitely follow up with this story later on tonight. But you see some fluid out there on the ground. Looks like they bent the four-link bar. Problems for Bulldozer. However, next up in round one action, we've got Mitch Brown out of Pacific, Missouri in the Bigfoot machine. He's set to take on Brandon Fruth in the Bustin' Loose Chevrolet out of Conroe, Texas. Mitch Brown looking to add another win to the Bigfoot team. Stage now, Ford and Chevrolet. Down the straight stretch now. Bigfoot pulling the lead, but Bustin' Loose come back on him. And Chevrolet takes the win. He puts the big blue oval on the trailer early. Next up in round one, we've got Bradley Graham, a five-time Thunder champion, in that futuristic SUV out of Paxton, Illinois, Max D. He draws up against Tannen Rude and Black Stein, the Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland, the privateer. Can he knock off Max D? There's the green light heading down now. Max D playing catch up. Gets out of shape in the Black Stein Ford. Will take the win. Max D got way out of shape right there in no man's land, and that definitely costed him the win. Next up in round one action, out of Spring, Texas in the Chevrolet, we've got John Guts in the King Crunch machine. He draws up against wild man Ryan Johnson in that always fast Brodozer machine. He's been in the finals the last two weeks in a row. Can he clinch the win here tonight? As we go green, down the straight, King Crunch pulling the lead. Brodozer coming back on him. Brodozer, can he get it shut down? No, he's in the Megalodon. King Crunch had him off the line, but Brodozer threw down the horsepower and almost didn't get it shut down in time to take the win. Up next here in round one, we've got David Beats and the Thunder 4x4 out of Bad Weather Race Team. He draws up against seven-time Thursday Night Thunder champion Rich Wagner and Captain's Curse. He's representing Wells Motorsports out here tonight in that brand new ride. Both trucks are staged. As we go green, down the straight stretch, we're looking even. Up and over, no man's landing. Captain's Curse and Rich Wagner take the win. He shuts it down just before getting into the other trucks. He will take the win, however, over the Thunder 4x4 machine. Captain's Curse moves on to round two. And next up, as we close out round one action, your current Thursday Night Thunder champion, that's Chantel Bailey in the Scooby-Doo machine. She currently holds the checkered flag and is looking to hang on to it, but she draws up against Braden Varga in the Donkey Kong. 
As we go green, Scooby and Donkey down the straight, up and over the car. Donkey gets out of shape, and Scooby will take the win over the Donkey Kong machine. And even though Donkey Kong got out of shape there in no man's land, he was still right there with Chantel, only losing out by half a truck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed round one action. I'm being joined by Scott Douglas and Mike Hotwood for an MTA special announcement. Look at the design and look at the face popping out of the window. We're going to get a real close look at one of the hottest stars in monster truck racing that Goldberg has driving for his team. You are absolutely right, Scott Bradley Graham, a five-time Thunder champion. He's looking to do great things with the Goldberg team and the new truck. Great season a year ago. Now in the Goldberg truck, and you can almost read the excitement on his face. Oh, he's Jack. Look at him. No doubt about it, the brand new Goldberg truck is looking to rain terror here on Thursday Night Thunder. Bradley Graham behind the wheel of the brand new Goldberg machine, and he told me there's only one thing left to say. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Thursday Night Thunder. We're back here with round two action. Bad News draws up against Whiplash, followed by Vet King taking on Bustin' Loose. Up first, we've got Megan Jager, the three-time Thursday Night Thunder champion in that 1941 Willys Whiplash. She draws up against the privateer out of Elkton, Virginia, representing the Chevrolet camp. That's David Snyder, and Bad News travels fast. He's looking to take it to semifinals. As we go green, Bad News and Whiplash up and over no man's land, and what a race across the finish line. Both of them getting it shut down just in time. We may have to go down to a photo finish, and yes, we are. Who took the win, Bad News or Whiplash? And it's going to be whiplashed by half a truck over bad news. Up next out of Conroe, Texas, the Bustin' Loose Chevrolet. Brandon Fruit behind the wheel. He draws up against Dawson Reyes in that 1957 Chevrolet Corvette, better known as Vet King. The battle of the bow tie continues in round two of Thunder as we go green. Down the straight now, Bustin' Loose in the lead. Vet King comes back, gets out of shape. I'm not sure who got the win. What an incredible race across the finish line. Both of them were dead even as they crossed the line. We're going down now to an MTA replay to confirm a winner. Look at him up and over no man's land. Vet King way out of shape, but he gathers it up and comes across the finish line, and it looks like he takes the win over the Bustin' Loose Chevrolet. Up next here in round two action, we've got Tannen Rood out of Hagerstown, Maryland, the privateer in the Black Stain Ford. He draws up against Wild Man, Ryan Johnson and Brodozer, who would want nothing more than to claim victory here tonight after being in the finals the last two weeks. Stage now as we go green, down the straight, both of them are dead even up and over no man's land and across the finish they get into each other. Another incredibly close race across the finish line. They did get into each other as they approached the shutdown area. Going back to a photo finish, Ryan Johnson and Brodozer takes the win on two wheels. Next up in round two, we've got Rich Wagner, the seven-time Thunder champion. He draws up against Chantel Bailey, the current checkered flag holder, as she took home all the hardware last week. Rich Wagner still getting used to a brand new truck. Both trucks are staged as we go green down the straight. They're even up and over the cars, and Scooby-Doo will take home the win. She puts Captain's Curse on the trailer. Rich Wagner was going for it, just didn't have enough for the Scooby-Doo machine. Chantel moves on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight you saw Jeffrey Skipper launch the bulldozer, come down hard on the right rear, almost made a huge comeback on Vet King. However, he did lose out. He broke the right rear shock, mounts the right rear four-link bar, and you see the crew guys down there thrashing. They're taking off the right rear tire. They're going to check over the planet gears and make sure nothing's busted in there. But surprisingly, he didn't turn the truck over, kept it under control, and almost won the race. Nonetheless, Bulldozer and team plan to be back next week as we close out the June season. Moving on with semifinal action now, Whiplash draws up against Vet King, followed by Brodozer and Scooby-Doo. First up in semifinals, Megan Jagger, the 1941 Willys, better known as Whiplash, and in the other lane, the newcomer on the circuit. He's in the semifinals this week. That's Dawson Reyes in the Vet King Chevrolet. Both trucks are staged. Who goes on to the finals as we go green? Down the straight track now, Vet King with a whole shot. Whiplash coming back on him, and Whiplash, Megan Jagger, takes it all the way down to the shutdown area. She finds herself in the finals. Next up, a rematch from last week. Ryan Johnson and Brodozer. He's looking to knock off the current champion. That's Chantel Bailey in Scooby-Doo. She wants to take a checkered flag home for a second week in a row, but she's got to knock off Ryan Johnson and Brodozer. 
This one ought to be a barn burner as we go green. Down the straight stretch, they're even up and over the car. The Gibrotos are shutting down. Oh, my. Slams it right into bad news. He does take the win and knocks off the current champion, Scooby-Doo. And for the third week in a row, Brodozer and Ryan Johnson are in the finals. And not only are the finals coming up next, we also want to let you know the MTA wild card coming up June 26th. 32 trucks, one champion. Who's going to come out on top? Find out then. And now it's final time here on Thursday Night Thunder. For the third week in a row, wild man Ryan Johnson finds himself in the finals and is unable to come up with a win. He draws up against three-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, Megan Jagger and Whiplash. She's looking to make it victory number four. A lot on the line here tonight. Brodozer, Whiplash, it's showtime. As we go green down the straight stretch, they're even up and over no man's land and across the finish. What an incredible race, I can't even call it. I cannot even call who won that race. We're gonna have to go down to an MTA replay. You see them right here now as they come off the line. Both trucks are even down that straight stretch. You see them approaching that very first jump. Maybe a slight edge to whiplash, but both trucks settle down, plant the horsepower, and they come across the finish line, and I still can't call it. We're going to take another look here at an MTA replay. They settle down. We're going to freeze frame it right on the finish line, and there you see it. Whiplash by quarter of a tire will take the win over Brodozer. Congratulations to Megan Jager and Whiplash on being a four-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. And for being in the finals the last three weeks in a row, no doubt Ryan Johnson's got the lead in points. And as we close out week three of the June season, there you see your current point situation. Rodozer leads with 45, followed by Scooby-Doo with 35, and Whiplash behind them with 33. As we look at the latter half of the bracket, Megalodon, Black Stay, and Bustin' Loose with 18, followed by Thunder 4x4 with 15 points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed week three of the June season of Thursday Night Thunder. Be sure to crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flashbulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that.